In our Growth Point teaching today, we will be taking a look at Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. These verses are the words of Jesus. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We know that this is referred to as the Lord's Prayer, and this is how Jesus taught his disciples to pray. We realize and we recognize that our Heavenly Father is in heaven, and he is our Father. He is our Creator. He is in charge of everything. And we realize that His name is holy. We also should be praying for God's will to be accomplished here on this earth. We know that God works through us as individuals. Yes, God has all the power and all the ability to do what God can do, but He works through the prayers of his people. That means that you and I play an important part in what gets accomplished by way of God's will. He is moved by our prayers. So would you continue to pray for your family? Would you continue to pray for our nation? Would you continue to pray for our communities? And as you continue to pray, God is moved by your prayers. We see the focus on God giving us daily bread. Never forget to thank God each and every day for His blessings in our lives. We also see some thoughts here about forgiveness. Just as God has forgiven us, we should be willing to extend that forgiveness to others. The verse 13 reminds us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. As you and I pray for God's power to overcome temptation, we will be able to do so, not in our own strength, but as we pray to resist the devil and to overcome temptation, God will give us the victory that we need and help us to be overcomers. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this prayer that Jesus prayed, this example of how we should pray. And I ask God that as we pray, that we would experience your power and your presence and that we would be overcomers and that you would be moved by our prayers for our nation, for our community, for our families and our loved ones and, and those who are in authority over us. So hear our prayers and answer our prayers according to your will. Pray this prayer of blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.